Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna to do some addition, and we're gonna do addition on a number line. But, can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, you better be. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Right there. Now, Charlie, what is six plus three? Tell us how you do six plus three. Six. Okay. Well, we're gonna do six plus three on a number line right here. That's right. Now, we're adding. Now, Charlie, when you add on a number line, which way do you go? Do you go to the right or do you go to the left? Which way, Charlie? To the right. To the right. That's right. We move to the right with addition. Okay. Now, in this lecture, we're only gonna be adding positive numbers. Later in the semester, we will get to the adding negative numbers and also subtracting negative numbers, okay? So for right now, let's do a simple problem here. Six plus three, Charlie, where do we start in this number line? Six. At the six, and we move which way? How far? Three. And where do you end up? Nine. At nine, there you go. Don't forget to circle your answer there. Very nice, Charlie, okay. Let's try another one here. Now, here is negative six plus three. Where do we start this time, Charlie? Negative six. That's right, right there. Okay, and which way do we move? Right. How far? Three. And where do we end up, Charlie? Negative three. Negative three. And that is our answer, negative three. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, don't forget to circle your answer. Now, here we are. Zero plus five. Where do you start, Charlie? Zero. That's right. And move which way? To the right. How far? Five. And what's your answer? Five. There you go. All right, Charlie, let's do another one here. Negative four plus five. Where do we start? Negative four. Negative four right here. Now, we're gonna move right, right? We're gonna move right five. Now, Charlie, what can you tell me about your answer? Mm, positive. Okay, why is it gonna be positive? Because we're gonna pass a zero. That's right, we're gonna cross a zero. But notice here, how we go to zero, how many spaces have we moved? Four. And we still have, how many more to go? One, one. more. And so our answer is positive one. There you go. Don't forget to circle your answer. Let's do another one. Now, negative nine, Charlie, don't get scared. Now, where do we start this time? Negative nine. Negative nine, and we gotta move right, how far? 11. 11. Now, Charlie, we're starting at negative nine. How far do I have to move to get to the zero? Nine. Okay, nine spaces. Okay, now, how many more do I have to go? Two. Two more, that's right, okay. Notice, the nine plus two is the 11. Now, where do we end up at, Charlie? Two. Two, and so negative nine plus 11 does give you a positive two. Okay, let's do one more. Let's start way over here, negative 10. Now, Charlie, we're gonna move right 18 units. So, let's start at negative 10. Now, how far do I have to move to get to the zero? 10. 10, okay, let's do that. And we've moved 10 spaces. Okay, let's take a break. Okay, break's over, Charlie. Now, how many more do we have to move? Eight. Eight more, that's right, Charlie. So we move the eight, and now we've moved 18 total to the right, and so what's our answer? Eight. That's right, it's eight. Don't forget to circle your answer there. Very nice, Charlie. Now, here's a question. This is getting, ready for, getting you ready for beginning algebra. What number do you add to negative five to get two, Charlie. Remember, negative five is here, and two is over there. So, think about this, Charlie. What do you think the answer is? Seven? Okay, how many of you agree with him? Yeah, you got a lot of people that agree with you, Charlie. Okay, well, let's see if he's right. Okay, so if we're at negative five, and we move right five, we're at zero, right? Okay, remember we're trying to go from negative five to get to two. Now, how many more do I have to move, Charlie? Two? Two more. Okay, now, here we go. We start at negative five, and to get to two, we had to move a total of how many spaces, Charlie? Seven. Seven, so, here's our answer. What number do you add to negative five to get two, Charlie? Seven. Seven, that's right, okay. Now, in beginning algebra, you're gonna be asked this very same question Okay, but you're gonna be asked in this manner here, negative five plus x equals two. 
that equation there is actually asking you, what number do you add to negative five to get two? And what's our answer, Charlie? Seven. It would be seven. So x would be seven in that equation. Okay. So you're going to get to those type of equations, Charlie, when you get to beginning algebra. That's if you make it through this class. <laughs> yeah, you'll do fine. You just keep up with the homework and pay attention in class. All right. So here's another problem, Charlie. What number do you add to negative 8 to get 7? OK, let's do it on the number line. We're going to start at negative 8, and we're going to move to the 0. How many spaces do we move, Charlie? 8. That's right, 8. Now, take a break. OK, now, how many more do we have to move, Charlie, to get to the 7? Seven? 7 more. 7, that's right. And so, when you look at this, we moved 8, and we moved 7 more. Now you have to do an addition problem. Charlie, how much is 8 plus 7? 15. OK, it is 15. That's right. Very good. So to answer this question, what number do you add to negative 8 to get to that 7? What's your answer? 15. 15. Very nice. That's because negative 8 plus 15 equals 7. Now, again, in beginning algebra, you'll be asked this equation which is that basically that equation is asking you this question. What number do you add to negative 8 to get 7? x is the unknown number. And so what's our answer, Charlie? 15. x equals 15. Very nice. Anyway, so we'll take a break and come back and do part 2 of our addition lecture. Anyway, Charlie, get some rest, do your homework problems, and we'll see you again soon, and you too.